on it. Hey everybody, back here in our secret tasting room again, uh, someplace close to Maui. <laughs> um, we're going to taste uh, Reserve Special Black Ale. Uh, not to be confused with any sort of special reserves out there, this is a Reserve Special Black Ale. So uh, we'll get this thing going here. I, get that master? It's been a month. I, the crimp's just so good on these crowns. Oh, man. You had it. There you go. See? You're on. So, yeah. So a little story behind Black Ale. Um, there's a donkey on it and a little Napoleon guy down here. Um, so back when I first started making this beer at the old place, um, it was called Special Reserve Black Beer. Um, and we heard some scuttlebutt about somebody being mad about us using Special Reserve and all that. We were a little brew pub at that point and you know, it wasn't really that big of a deal. And, um, so they were getting all mad about us using special reserve. So I finally gave a call and said, what's up with it? No, no, no. They started telling me about trademarks, this, that, and whatever. So I just told them, I was like, all you had to do is say something, you know, special reserve is no, I could have changed the name. Simple, no problem. So instead I flopped the words around, put a donkey on there, a little Napoleon guy and called it reserve special. Um, Sometimes donkey, sometimes jackass. Yeah, you can definitely say jackass. <laughs> so um, that's where that label came from. Um, so, anyways. So, well, and this was what first beer? First beer I ever made commercially. Commercial beer. Yeah. Which and it's still kicking. I mean, this is so. This is one of our. We've been talking about seasonals a lot, but this is one of our five flagships. So this is available year round, six packs on draft, that kind of stuff. But it's a really fun beer um, as we get tasting it here. Uh, just because it's not really a stout, it's not really a porter, that's why it's called a black ale. Yeah, it doesn't fit anywhere very well. Um, it's aggressively hopped, um, so I mean, you get a nice bitterness, but you also get, you know, all the roasty, chocolatey. Um, it's not a black IPA. Um, there's some people out there that call it a black IPA. It is not a black IPA. Um, it's not hopped or made like a black I IPA would be. Um, yeah, no dry hopping or anything to really make exactly. that out. But like you say, being aggressively hopped, so you get that bitterness from hops. And it kind of marries with that astringency of those roasted malts and black malts. Yeah, big mouthfeel. <clears throat> um, alcohol runs, uh, what is it, eight and a quarter? Uh, this one's actually uh, seven five as well. Nice. So yeah, I, the Imperial Black Ale you used to make commercially. Um, <laughs> was streamed right down into that 7-5 ballpark <laughs> when people started passing out at the bar nightly after one of them. <laughs> Not me, though. I can make it through at least two. <laughs> at least. So, yeah, nice <clears throat> chewy beer. Um, has an assertive bitterness, but then you get you know roasty, chocolatey. Um, you know, fun beer to drink. Well, I'm being 7.5 too, it's just big enough and with all the stuff going on in there, you know, this is a good beer being that it's a year round, you know, you can grab it off the shelf and, and sit it down for a month and watch some of those hops kind of mellow out and meld into, you know, a little bit more of that chocolatey uh, coffee type of beer. But but I like, I prefer it really fresh with those hops just kind of sing at you. And, and that's where those people, you know, that, that say something about black IPA, it's, it's just that step away, you know, I mean, yeah. I, I tell people sometimes like if it was, it would have been the original black IPA, you know, whatever, 14, 15, 16 years ago when you were making it. And you could yeah. definitely probably take this recipe, change the hot varieties, and or dry hop it, and then say, yeah, you know, let's throw that into a black IPA category. You guys heard that, right? He just told me to do that, right? All right. <laughs> well, yeah, good, fun beer to drink, nice and chewy. Um, warming, a little warming, the alcohol level at seven and a half is... A little warming, but um, good beer for fall, crisp day. Good beer for any time of the year. Right? Yeah, um, springtime, whatever. Like you said, it is year-round. Uh, we do make it every day of the year. You can get it whenever you want it. Um, <coughs> get out, check it out. Let us know what you think of it. Thanks Reserve for, special. Thanks Black for the support. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Not smash one. Smash. <laughs>